Mars has two moons, Phobos and Deimos. Both moons are small compared to the Earth's moon. They have some tens of kilometers in diameter and the shape is more like a potato. The surface is densely cratered of both objects and they are very dark objects. Major advantage of the elliptical orbit of Mars Express is that the apoapsis lies beyond the orbit of Phobos. This enables observations of the far side of Phobos. The HRC camera was used to observe nearly globally until now Phobos and to perform far distant astrometric measurements of both Martian moons. These measurements helped to improve the orbit models. For Phobos we have derived a new shape model which helped to improve the volume estimate and from this it was possible to assess the interior structure of Phobos. Further we were able to densify the geodetic control network of Phobos and to perform libration measurements directly. Both objects are rather dark and show no spectral signature in the visible and near-infrared, uh, which is similar to D-type asteroids, not to silicate material as on Mars, for example. And the origin of the two moons is still debated controversial. There are different hypotheses. One is assuming that the two moons could be captured asteroids, and the second hypothesis assumes that these could be formed by the accretion of ejected materials from the Martian surface stemming from a large impact. One characteristic of the surface of Phobos are rills that can be followed nearly for the entire body, which are named grooves. The origin of these grooves is still debated. One possibility for their formation would be that these are fractures caused by large impacts on Phobos itself, like the big impact Stigne, which has a diameter of 10 kilometers, more or less the same size as the entire body. Or alternatively, that large impacts on the Mars ejected material that was yeah, shaping basically the surface of Phobos while passing its orbital plane. The routine observations of Phobos and Deimos from far distance will be continued to improve the orbit models. And the characteristic of the Mars Express orbit guarantees that every five months roughly there occur close flybys at distances below 1000 kilometers to the surface. Special maneuvers are planned to get even closer to the surface to less than 50 kilometers, which is a perfect situation to perform gravity measurements by radio signs. Around these gravity measurements, the camera shall be used to pin down the position of Phobos in its orbit, which is one of the major error sources during the analysis of gravity field measurements.